Birds are important. They pollinate many of the plants in your garden. They eat the insect pests that would otherwise eat crops of coffee plants and wine grapes. They disperse the seeds of our rainforests and they fill our world with song. Sadly, populations of many birds around the world are in dramatic decline. Even those species that we commonly refer to as being common are showing signs that they too are in trouble. There are many reasons for this, but the main cause continues to be habitat loss. In Australia, 80 to 90% of our temperate eucalypt woodlands have already been cleared. So one way we might begin to reverse this problem is to restore habitat for birds, plant some trees. Too often though, ecological restoration programs have focused solely on restoring the vegetation. They've taken an if we build it, they shall come approach towards wildlife. This is known as the field of dreams hypothesis because in many instances, the animals just haven't come. My research on woodland birds and that of collaborating PhD candidates studying Tasmanian devils, quolls, betongs, feral cats and microbats takes a different approach, an animal focused approach. We're using data collected from the behaviours of individual animals as well as surveys of where they are found to help restoration managers on the ground in decisions of what to restore and where, prioritising those elements of habitat that are most important to the wildlife. So, these are some of my feathered friends from the Tasmanian Midlands, which is my study region, one of Australia's oldest agricultural landscapes, and now the focus of an ambitious landscape restoration program. Here I surveyed birds across 76 sites, recorded 91 different species, and used environmental data to model their distributions. I also produced 3D computer models of the nesting sites chosen by birds, and measured levels of chronic physiological stress in a model species, the superb fairy wren. All of this was to obtain a sense of how birds perceive their environment, what they might call quality habitat. A common theme across all of my research was that birds didn't seem to care so much about the particular species of plants that grew where they lived, or the height of the trees. It was the effect of another animal, the noisy miner, that was most important to them. Miners have been described as hyper-aggressive and despotic. They are Australia's original angry bird. They exclude all of these species and many more from suitable woodland habitat, and their invasion poses the greatest threat to the success of the Midlands Restoration Program, at least as far as the birds are concerned. My hope is that in future, more restoration programs will utilise the experience of both plant and wildlife ecologists. Without paying any attention to the specific needs of animals, we are failing to maximise the conservation value of ecological restoration. Thank you.